Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more control. It's part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And today we're going to begin by eliminating the darkness. So we have returned to the Eagle Limited AWE as that is where it apparently is to help Atti out. So let's get into it. Shoop. Aha. So I think it should be directly ahead of us right here in the old um, actual AWE Limited area itself. Okay. All right. Whoa! Chill out. Have a box. Okay. Well, thank God for that. Right. So apparently, there's some darkness we need to eliminate in here, but I think. Hmm. I can hear it. Is it above here? Is it up on the top? You know, it could be. All right, let's see. go up this way. Top of this AWE. Oh. Ah, yes, there. There we go. Okay, Jesse, get down. bit. Okay, so there's more somewhere. There we go. I think we've got one more bit to find. Hmm. What's this? Oh, a recording. Guthrie interrogation 4C pertaining to the Eagle Limited incident and its subsequent um, state alteration. Look, buddy, I have no clue what you're talking about. So you deny being a part of a radical group aiming to affect inanimate objects in a manner that would yield uh, um, uh, unusual results? Unusual? Yeah, I deny. But hey, tell me more about these results. They sound real unusual. I'm sure you recognize that the measures this group of yours takes to achieve their goals can be considered acts of terrorism. Goals? Measures? You're being very vague. Did you know you're being very vague? All right, 62 dead. Passengers and crew, innocent people. Still sound vague to you? You might as well stop wasting both our time. I won't say anything, and you can't say anything. I know you can. Oh, Tell dear. me what I can do. I can throw your sorry ass in one of our cozy containment cells. You can rot there until you're ready to talk. Or you could just save us both the trouble and tell me all about how you're going around creating altered items. How's that sound? Uh, did you really think we wouldn't catch on to you? We always do. Always. So you might as well come clean. For your sake. I, uh... <clears throat> I think I'll just talk to my lawyer instead. That's not how it works around here, buddy. But tell you what, why don't I leave you here to think on it for a while? See you in a couple of days. Wait, wait, wait! <gasps> my god. Oops, well, you know what, you'll be useful. So be useful, will you? Hmm. So where is this other bit of darkness, is the question. I don't think it'd be through there. Maybe up here somewhere, would it be? So obviously they got hold of the terrorists, but, um, well. Didn't exactly, uh, stick to the rules when interrogating them, if there are rules. I don't know if there's rules. I know that you have rules in the in in the UK anyway for if somebody I don't like that if somebody is under interrogation you have to treat them a certain way and you can't you know abuse them or whatever is that it there it is 
finally! Good God! Give me that light. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. There's my light. Give me that light. No! The light. The light. Aha! We did it. So it's up here. How can I not get up there? Okay, where's my... Really? Really? All the way down there? Bless it, Barbie. There we go. <laughs> Done. That should make him happy. Yep. You're welcome. Another fine mess. Burn the dark. Okay, so let's see what else we would like to do. So that's Otty's little thing there done. Um. I would like to get some more of Otty's works done. Eradicate the mould. I wonder whether that will tell us how to get rid of the mould in the other places. Because I would quite like to. Just so that I can, you know... Ah, yes, there you go. It's in the places we can't go. But how do we eradicate it? Well, I suppose we'll find out. Okay, abandoned offices it is. So I th All right, that freaks me out every single time it happens. So it's too it's that way. Okay. The mold. Ugh. Stinky mold. I think it's inside that room if memory serves me. Oh god, really? Can we, can we just not? We all know how it's going to go. Yeah, I think the mould is in here. I think. Alright, I'm wrong. Fair enough. Where is this bloody mould? Hmm. Ah. In here? Somewhere there's mould? Where's the mould? Huh. In the service tunnels, maybe? No. Oh, yeah, I remember this dude. This is it, the mould. How do we get rid of the mould? like blobs Ugh. does that do something okay maybe it doesn't or is it man it's quite slow slow acting isn't it okay Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh! Well, I mean, it didn't really take much of our health, which is good, but wow. I don't know how I feel about that, you know. Well, alright, let's, um... There's a lot of weird noises coming from in here. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Not a fan! Ugh. So... Do we just kind of have to grin and bear it and... Okay, it seems like... It's bad, but not severely bad. Um... Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Not um not fun, but oddly we can do it, so that's fine. Um Oh, okay. Bet you feel great. Great. Get it? <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Let's, um... Hmm. So the last one is in that... <sighs> okay. Well... I mean, we are just eradicating mould, but... Okay. And it's down here. Okay. I think we came across this one, and we were sort of umming and ahhing as to whether we could do it. There we go. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Did we listen to this? Reminder. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Oh yeah, I Thank remember that. You for your attention. We needed a power cell, didn't we? Uh, where was it for? Was it for the AWE Transit Bay? Where the um, where the was it a plane or something? We'll um, oh, let's take it with us. We might have a use for it. Um, put it down, Jesse. Anyone else? Okay. Let's see, we need this. So through here, I'm guessing. All right. Well. Yep. No AC, no mold spore circulation. Okay. Might get a bit stuffy in here. Night Springs, we'll read that in a minute. We'll just check there's nothing else in here. Oh, there is. What's the... Oh, level three. Can we get out? Oh my god, okay. Oh! So, Night Springs. What was that Night Springs? Uh, in here? Night Springs screenplay page two. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads for the portal control room. He slams the on button with a determined fist. Director, all the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun for a five-day road trip. In unknown dimension, night. Scientist. What have you done? You've doomed us! Director. Control yourself, Doctor. Where's this beast of yours? Scientist. Right there, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. Director. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. Okay, the director's a little bit cuckoo bananas. Okay, so... Hold on, let's just have a look at our map here. So I want to go back up to the transit bay, really. 
because I think that is going to be our our um, location to put this this this. No, I want it. <laughs> Give me that bloody power cell. There we go. Because I want to um, power up that other side and just see what happens. Maybe something will happen. Maybe nothing will happen. I don't know. Oh. There we go. It's a little messy, but can we? Yep. Yep. Oh. Where did it go? What? Haha, -ha, we're back at Central Executive. So we need a head to the hotline chamber. Can we get to the hotline chamber from our office? I suppose. Just as a curiosity. None. Looks like it got shipped. We have rangers checking each sector. Oh dear. Okay, director's office. Uh, this isn't my office. What? Through here? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Looks like we can get to the hotline chamber from my office. Because it is my office, let's be real. I am the director. Should not be watching me. There you go. Alright, let's go and talk to the board. The board. I can hear the phone. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. Hmm. Okay, hello. Director, situation crisis. Uh-oh, in foundation. We demand your attention slash moxie. Um, all this house is in danger. We open the door slash tree in maintenance. Hurry, post haste. Maintenance? Problem in the foundation. That was Auntie's vacation spot. Oh yeah. We need to check this out. I remember that. We should probably do some more of Artie's things. He's not gonna be very happy when he comes back off vacation and like plants are dead and stuff. Let's let's just have a little uh, a little look, shall we? If we're going down to maintenance, we may as well um, get some things done and out of the way. Nourish the plants. Okay, let's 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 just have a look at that. Shine a light on the plants. AWE loading bay, operations corridor, and abandoned offices. Really? Oh, well, we'll be going down to maintenance anyway, so it's not exactly much of a bother, I suppose. We need to find the door. That's what we need to do. Find the bloody door. Okay. So we need to go down to maintenance. Yeah, I found a file on the old director, Northmore. Didn't list any date of death. Hello? Uh, I heard you close the Hiss portal, or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. Yeah. If we could just flush out the stragglers. Um. Situation report. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in Hiss. Not to mention the months of repairs it's going to take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Well, all right. Um, slide projector, yeah. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say so. But thank Christ for that. I wonder if if I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. I wonder if um, Emily's written any more 
Any more? I don't know, info on it? Uh, she was in the boardroom, wasn't she? Let's have a look. Oh. Oh yeah, she's written some more stuff here. Is there anything else? And then we'll uh, we'll talk to Emily. What's this? Okay. Variance in alterations. Analysis of the His threat, part five. Confidential. Summary. His corruption manifests in vastly different ways. Some hosts remain largely unchanged, while others are barely recognisable as human. What determines this level of alteration? Is it the duration of corruption? It could simply be an evolutionary process, each entity representing a stage of growth in an undiscovered linear progression leading towards... what? Additionally, his entities possess various paranatural abilities. How have they achieved this? Do they gain them from corrupting objects of power? Have they corrupted a single highly talented power utilitarian and divided their access to paranatural abilities across the network of his corrupted hosts? As a scientist, I am hindered by the sheer number of questions. It's difficult to identify where one should begin. What is the most pertinent question? How do we kill it? That seems like a good start. Refer to file redacted for full report. Hmm, yes. All right, Emily. So what have you, have you discovered anything new? Jesse, good yep. to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Mm -hmm. well, eliminating them all will take time. Yep. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. Alright. Mm -hmm. Something's weird about Emily. I don't know what it is, but something's weird about her. She got something else she wants to talk to us about? What? Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? Oh yeah. The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. Mm. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the his babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different his corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, yeah. Well, I've got a bureau to run. Yep. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Apparently, I'm one of the only Please, folks. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. No. Um. Yeah. Gotta be methodical. Quiet. Transdimensional. Otty's vacation this spot. This place really suits Otty. What's this? So that etching is the door. Okay. okay. Let's try opening it. Are we supposed to open it or close it? Oh, okay. Foundation. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Yeah. This is a weird foundation. Might I just just add right there? Okay, power cell. Plenty of big rocks to throw Looks though. Like Which, no wait, what did that say? Oh, restricted sight gamma. Okay, what's 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 going on here? Lights lighting up. Oof. That 
just appear? I don't know. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's these weird noises, man. Wow, this is bright. Holy. Okay. All right. Crystals are kind of pretty. Uh, I would be having a field day down here. Yeah, this is very red, though. What's what's all this red? Red dust. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I like this. It feels a little creepy. Why the... All right. My life's been a strange one. Deep Certainly cover. stranger than I'd like. But this place... It's something else. The You're floors me. crawl, the walls slither. It's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. Mm-hmm. But no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this. And we <sighs> find it one week after he's buried. Weird. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Hmm. Okay. Is this something up here? For us? Ah, yes there is. Look. That is very rude. God, can't even have the have the box really. Ugh. Okay, well maybe there's a maybe there's a way something. This feels very weird. Deep cavern. Don't think we can go in the deep cavern. Okay, no, we can't. All right, let's 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 carry on. Oh, this red dust, man. It's weird. It's like we've landed on Mars. Ah, I don't know. Foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. Oh. Oh. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless. She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. She didn't really say much, did she? Okay, that's that's just kind of concerning, isn't it? Just a big white pool of light. I don't like this. Creepy. All the red and stuff. So can we? Should we do something? Here? Can we? No. All right. I think we have to. Maybe. Maybe go down here. Oh, it's so bright. Well. Okay. What? What? Does it... It just puts us here. Oh! This is strange... Whoa, what? What is that? What is that? Oh god, these things. There we go. It's one of those things here. Hmm. I did. Okay. 
this is this is officially very weird. Um, whoa! I thought it was a person stood there. Then are we able to to go up here? That's up and out, I think. This is so odd. So odd. What's this way then? Wow. Okay. What's this? Energy boost. Eh. Hmm. I don't know whether to go out or down. Through that other other place. The other hole over here. Well. Well. Ah. Hmm. Oh god. Okay. Um, yeah, I failed at that, didn't I? We maybe get up. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Never mind. Okay. Well, let's step out and just see what we get. There's a lot of... Jeez Louise, these rocks look massively heavy, but clearly aren't. All right. Let's, um... Okay, I can see hiss already. go. Have your friend. Oh, I saw you. All right. Well, let's um, let's cleanse the control point. Wow. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Look at this though I mean are those buildings up there okay this is yeah this is yeah the foundation of the oldest house apparently very dusty and red but we are going to leave it there for today so until next time be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>